Welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. In this video, I will be looking at nine different banana plug personalities. And um, it's just to show you that there, there are different ways of um, creating a plug. And it's basically just about finding out the thing that you like the most. So let's just quickly go, go through this. We've got the CMC Red Copper Banana Plug. I believe that it's one of the top 10 plugs in the world. I would say value-wise. And perhaps top sound-wise, it, it's just around that um, area because it's just so human-like, it's so natural, it's so down-to-earth and, and just raw at the same time. And it's got this like emotionally uh, intelligent type of sound. 3D and layering is pretty good, but, but it, you know, it, it isn't, it isn't world-class um, top plug uh, kind of good. Um, Technically, it is it is lacking a bit compared to the best uh, plugs, but you know it's it's got that non hi fi, uh, what what's it called non hyped hi fi type of of sound where it's more about uh, the frailty and the humanity, where a lot of other basic plugs they're more about <clears throat> suppressing that and keeping it a bit numb. And just kind of boosting it a bit and making it a bit more about the coolness and the sound and the structure and the linearity and the frequency response and stuff like that so this is just a very human-like type of sound and i could say that it could be a bit on on the harsh bright side especially if you go with some some cable that is uh, pretty bad so you might want to put this on some slightly warmer cable, but have a go at it. It's uh, it, it's it's very fascinating, very fascinating plug indeed. And uh, here we have the uh, the eBay, um, one of the most popular eBay items, CMC banana plugs, and they're just ridiculously good value. I mean. I got mine for I think it was ten, yeah ten for. What is that about? Um, yeah, it, it, it's it's a bit more than than ten pounds, including shipping, and that's just crazy. You know, we we can't really compete with that in in Europe with our hi-fi plugs, and you're just getting so much. You you're almost getting everything. It still has a bit of that raw, simple sound that isn't 100% um, 3D and, and fully evolved, but it's just so charismatic, so personal and charming. And it just has this blossoming type of, of sound that you don't really hear a lot in, in a normal normal hi-fi gear. So so yeah, I think a, a lot of transistor gear really needs this type of, of sound, this, this like human connection type of, of sound. So yeah charming very very charming and i would say definitely one of the 10 10 uh, top 10 plugs in the world just just awesome and and you know trying this with summer cable quadra blue just just an awesome combination so you might think from from trying that gold plug that uh you need a bit more bass you need a bit more kick um then we have the Vipo Gold Banana Plug, which is like I don't know what you can call Vipo. It it's it's sort of a like a half Furutech type of sound, very very similar to Furutech. Um, and it's just it has still some of that CMC Gold type of um, stock sound, but with that mid range Furutech. Uh, gold sound it's just cmc gold basically with a, a boosted bass not super intelligent not super layered but just awesome value awesome value just just a really good startup plug for a lot of people and i think especially a lot of people in in the in the lower end of, of hi-fi would really appreciate these and you know you can get them in, in different uh, metals 
I think one is like bronze, and then we've got, I don't know if this one is rhodium or this one is rhodium. But I heard that the rhodium one is supposed to be a lot better. I only got to try the uh, the gold version, and, and just awesome, awesome value, awesome value. And just go and try that if you can with the summer cable quadra blue uh, biowire speaker cable. Awesome combination, because the summer cable has a tendency of perhaps being a bit too raw and cutting through with the detail and this is like a really good companion to that type of sound i mean overall when you combine those two you're not going to get a, a 20 30 40 thousand um, dollar speaker cable but you're going to get something that's pretty close you know that that gives you a lot of that sound and uh, you can save many thousands of dollars just using that particular combination so awesome a, a lot a lot of people should try this just just really awesome and also the rhodium uh, version i heard from a friend that, that tried these that they were also really really good now the really special plug um this has a very almost i wouldn't say special place in my heart but it's just a very sexy charming punchy alive type of sound and it's just it just has basically everything um fascinating plug fa fantastic um, sense of space movement um fun exciting clear um it just has everything that you want but it doesn't have this like full take type of uh, boosting the sound or the vipo way of of, of boosting uh, the sound that is that is actually lower than than um, Futek. Um just awesome, really, really awesome, really cut clearly through the detail, presenting it in a very uh, sexy and exotic type of way. But I, I guess that a lot of people of I'm guessing older generation will probably not be too fond of these plugs because they have a lot of clarity and punch and they probably want the you know the more reserved type of gold plugs like the vivo one so uh, this is just for a different type of personality but but yeah really crazy uh, really high resolution but but not you know crazy like the oyate spl spades those are like uh perhaps the most um informative analytical and revealing plugs i've ever heard the spla uh spsl <laughs> spades um crazy good but you, you just need crazy gear to work with this and and you don't really have to have crazy good gear to work with this you just need some pretty decent good gear um so just just awesome awesome i, I would like to call this the best ever banana plug in the world it's just that there are a couple that are really good i have a hard time saying that this is the very very best and i have to admit that there are some some banana plugs i just haven't heard um so i can't really say that it's the best in the world but it it i would say without a doubt um top 10 in the world and most likely uh, top five uh, most likely but um just just awesome awesome and i also have friends telling me that this is just awesome and you also have to know that when you have these they, they sit pretty tightly uh connected to your speaker so uh just so you guys know that and they have some really good solid screws these and um i like the build quality and just how heavy they are <laughs> it just feels like you know japanese quality so awesome awesome job with these now now we're coming over to the the ultra high-end informative technically correct type of sound these are in a way very uh technically advanced and give you a a very good high level sense of warmth but not the highest uh, level um not the highest level of naturality integration and intimacy this is basically a very cool plug for people who i would say want to listen more to the gear than the music 
And I also, in, in the start of my hi-fi journey, I was also one of those types of people who, who did that. And, you know, I, th I just think that this is a very cool thing that you at least have to try because um, I think a lot of people will, will want to probably settle with that type of sound. And I still to this day think that it's just um, awesome, um, awesome plug. It does a lot of good. I'm just more about the the purity of the sound and not having something boost the sound and help the sound quite as much. So you get a you get a good deal with um, with Fortech in general. You get a good sense of warmth and and bandwidth and depth with uh, Fortech. But I have to tell you guys, if you compare it to the very 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 top level. It just isn't quite as uh, good. Uh, it it it's it's sort of a lower level type of um, uh, awesomeness. So really impressive, really good. Does a lot of good stuff. Just not really my cup of tea. I think it's uh, something that suits a lot of people who have transistor gear in general, and um, for people who have that, you know, that ultra. I would say ultra pure type of sound where you're into the the ridiculously expensive uh, tube gear um, or some transistor gear. I just think that it gets a bit in the way. It helps a bit too much. So very cool, very talented uh, food tech and VBT. You know, you, you can't you can't not mention VBT. VBT are like um, they're just a respectable uh, company. I can't remember if they're German or whatever they are, but they have this like German type of perfectionistic solid sound that we that we all hear from <laughs> Canton speakers, Burmeister um, gear, and just ge German electrical equipment in in general. Just very very good, very solid, uh, technically perfect in many ways. I just feel that they are a bit on the reserved and, and, and tame um, side. So I think that most people will really love them uh, and, and won't really fall to the sound. So they they fit with a lot of different cables these here. So I think they've, they, they've had a good combination just fitting a lot of different cables, especially with the, the gold version. So uh, yeah, it, it's worth a mention. Some few people will, will think that they are a bit flat, reserved, uh, tame in sound, but um, I, th I still think that they're, they're, they're pretty good. And they're a bit on the pricey side in general with, with all of their prog plugs, but yeah, worth a mention. Um, KLE, I haven't heard KLE banana plugs, but I've heard basically all of the other plugs and just well above average good company that does some really interesting things. They have their own type of sound and I think it's I think it's a thing that a lot of people have to really consider. Instead of buying all of these cheap, uh, moldy eBay plugs, I would suggest that KLE be one of your first brands that you try, even though they're very expensive, because they just have a very different type of sound that you don't find in the uh, in, in, in the normal lower end. So the, these are like... Um, this is a pretty respectable good company so I, I suggest trying those plugs in general and I would expect their banana plugs to be as good as all the other plugs that I heard so interesting they're, they're, they're doing a lot of stuff that that's interesting and, and very different so I like that uh, I like that and one of my favorite plugs I actually have these right now on my speaker cable and I've also heard them at a friend's place and at another friend's place and I think at a show or two. Um, just good overall solid neutral sound, uh, pretty organic, um, basically has everything in it. If there's something that you could possibly uh, say that's wrong, that's just that you can't close them off completely at the bottom, meaning that the cable could in theory oxidize. And this uh, could, with time, if there's a lot of pressure on the cable, if the cable is heavy and it's pulling on the speaker, it could really, like a lot of these type of plugs, break. I haven't had it uh, happening to me, 
but I can imagine it, it, it happening because I've, I've seen it um, online with, with these types of plugs, not specifically from, from AudioQuest, but, but just with these types of plugs. So just bear that in mind when you have these types of plugs on cables that are like really heavy and pulling on the speaker, uh, just be aware of that. But overall, just I would say the best value top um, a banana plug on the market that I know of because they just I mean when we're basically talking about the best price and perhaps the most compatible plug with uh, with most cables and you know you, you can't really say that with, with other plugs a lot of other plugs are just very moldy they they, they kind of put this like disease type of sound on top of the speaker cable. And I feel that these do a good job of giving you all the details, still keeping it uh, almost as, as natural as it gets and just not really being heard. You know, a, a lot of plugs, they, they, you hear them like, um, let's just go up here. This, this is a plug that, that you hear, you hear it, its own, character being imposed on the sound and especially the um, v-ball does it even more the the v-ball gold and and these are like the better the these are the better plugs on the market if you take like the really lowest quality plugs on, on ebay amazon or whatever they just have a, a sound where it almost gets stuck where you can't get the um the music out of the speakers so it's a thing to think about especially with with gold um copper type of, of plugs a lot of them just have this like basic simple raw type of sound that distorts the sound and it just it it's just like like a disease you don't want on your sound um so that's basically it except for we have a last one audio note banana plugs that is this is what i've written basically a less is more type of approach perhaps one of the top five plugs in the world um but i would have to say that th this is a, a plug that a lot of users won't really find very relevant because sometimes you can have something that's so good that <clears throat> it can in theory make the sound worse and i feel that this is just meant for a specific application where you have audio notes copper and especially silver cables and you know that that integrates in a way where you then have the exact same uh, type of sound going from inside the source uh, over to the DAC um, in the DAC same type of cable going from uh, that to the amp and then over to the speaker and then you have of course this plug soldering tin and cable just all creating the exact same type of sound. There's no negotiation. There's no super imposing its own character on the sound. It just gets out of the way. So you're not listening to any anything that's highlighted, any gear. So that can be a problem with a lot of people not having really good gear. Typically, they then have to somehow bias or boost the sound in order for it to sound good. Um, so th this is a, a purest type of, of connector that uh, I just don't suggest that, that all people have, only the, the very few. But I, to give you a good example, you know, um, this is basically a, a Hagen Das vanilla ice cream uh, effect that, that it does where less is more. And it won't be popular like Ben & Jerry's, which is like Furutech. Uh, you know, the, the, the popular plug manufacturer, uh, food tech or, or like the popular ice cream manufacturer, uh, Ben & Jerry's. It, 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 it's that type of game that they play. So, you know, it's, it's not for all people, but I definitely recommend this if you have um, audio notes, uh, especially their silver cables. Because if you have that, then you also have silver cables and everything else, most likely. And then you're just getting into this very deep integrated sound 
that is just so unique. It just feels like it's basically basically the most original natural type of sound in the world. And, and that's where it belongs. You don't really want this thing on a normal cable. So yeah, th those are my considerations. And uh, I hope this helps you guys figuring out what type of plug that uh, you guys want. Maybe you could have uh, tried something else that you find to be better. You can, uh, of course, uh, give me a comment about that uh, underneath the video. So, uh, yeah, remember to like and subscribe. And uh, this is me logging out. Bye.